Hi, I am Sindhu from Informatica Technical Support. The topic of the video is Kerberos Hadoop and Hive, basically on how to secure Hadoop and Hive cluster. Agenda of the video: What is Kerberos authentication? Prerequisites for enabling Kerberos authentication: Kerberos Hadoop cluster, Kerberos Hive. How to test the connectivity once the security is enabled? Demo on how to do the same. What is Kerberos authentication? Kerberos is a network authentication protocol which uses tickets to authenticate access to the users and nodes in the network. Kerberos uses a key distribution center to validate identities of users and services and to grant them tickets to authenticate themselves. In this protocol, users and services are known as principals. The KDC has a database of principals and their associated secret keys that are used as proof of identity. Kerberos can use the LDAP directory service as a principal database. Prerequisites for enabling Kerberos authentication. As specified earlier, users in Kerberos authentication are represented as principals. Hence, service principal names for the Hadoop users yarn, HDFS, Hive, etc. needs to be created using the command add print with the syntax specified. Once the SPNs are ready, we need to create key tabs for the same. A key tab is a file containing pairs of Kerberos principals and an encrypted copy of that principal's key. The key tab files are unique to each host since their keys include the host name this file is used to authenticate a principal on a host to kerberos without human interaction or storing a password in plain text file also the krb file under slash etc folder needs to be updated to point to the ktc on the hadoop cluster creating spns and key tabs is the first step of having kerberized hadoop cluster kerberized hadoop Kerberizing Hadoop includes updating few property values to include values with respect to Kerberos. Hadoop.security.authentication is the first basic property that needs to be updated to hold the value Kerberos to identify the authentication type. During the demo, I will point out how the configuration looks like for Kerberos authentication with respect to Hadoop. Kerberos Hive. Once the Hadoop cluster is Kerberized, we need to Kerberize Hive as well to enable the authentic authentication between the hive and hadoop cluster in this scenario i am taking example of enabling hive server 2 for kerberos authentication there are few properties that needs to be enabled to identify the authentication type between the hadoop and hive clusters the uh, other important properties that needs to be taken care are with respect to the spns and key tab files how to test the connectivity Hadoop connectivity can be tested by just listing the files on the Hadoop cluster. Hive JDBC connectivity can be tested using the BLine client and we will see how the connect test connectivity would work in the demo. Once the key tab file is created on the, on the Kerberos cluster, the same thing needs to be copied on the Hadoop cluster as well. Right now I am trying to uh, list the SPNs that are part of the key tab file using the command ktutil. You can see here under hadoop service.ktap there are number of users SPNs that are specified. So using this particular ktap file we will be able to authenticate the communication between HDFS, YARN, HBase, job history, Hive users. As I told uh, during the presentation the krb file 5.conf needs to be updated to point to the realm and the KDC. Here uh, IVLKRB01 is the KDC uh, IP and host name of the KDC where the SPNs are stored. The realm name for identifying the KDC is InfaQA curve. We'll see how the CoreSight.xml looks like once we enable Kerberos on the Hadoop cluster. You can see a separate se section for Kerberos authentication here. We have enabled few properties to identify that the Hadoop cluster is trying to communicate via Kerberos. The first property would be Hadoop.security.authentication. This will be for uh, enabling the Kerberos authentication type for the Hadoop cluster. The HDFS file needs to include with respect to the file system authentication so this has to include the principles and the key tabs for the respective name nodes, secondary name nodes and the file system.
The yansite.xml similarly includes the key tabs and SPNs with respect to resource managers, node managers and scheduler. The hivesite.xml would include the key tabs with respect to Metastore and the Hive Server 2. Once the configurations with respect to principles and key tabs are done, you can go ahead and start your service that is Hadoop cluster and the Hive Server 2. As specified in the presentation, Hadoop connectivity can be tested by just listing the files on the Hadoop cluster. So you can run the command Hadoop fs hyphen ls slash you can see the uh, test connectivity basically failed with an error saying the GSS in it failed because it is unable to locate the Kerberos ticket file Kerberos ticket file is the basic authentication factor as specified earlier to authenticate the communication between the client and the Hadoop cluster. So basically the client here is Hadoop FS LS is a client that is trying to connect to the Kerberos Hadoop cluster. So basically we have to do a K in it to generate a Kerberos ticket cache file. The K in it should include the uh, key tab file and the service principal name for the user. Once K in it is done, if you do a Hadoop uh, listing again it will be able to authenticate itself you can see the files are listed now this is how Hadoop connectivity can be tested now we will see how Hive JDBC connectivity can be tested using the beeline client so you have to enter the beeline command prompt and try to connect using the JDBC connect string the JDBC connect string for Hive Server 2 will be in the following format JDBC colon Hive 2 colon the Hadoop cluster colon the port number of Hive Server 2 the database name and the principle for the Hive Server you can see here it was able to connect to the Hive this connectivity also uses the uh, Hadoop Kerberos ticket file that was generated using the command k init with respect to the particular user who has started the Hive Server 2. You can see here the Hive Server it basically uses the ticket cache file to connect to the Hadoop cluster these are the references from where you can read further about Hadoop security and Hive security please do share your feedback thank you